what is up you so welcome welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do thank you cards a lot of people were requesting this video and just need your printer and paper and let's just go straight into this video basically in this video i'm going to be showing you guys what apps do i use in order to do my cards and this is not going to be a long process video this is going to be very short just because i just want to explain to you guys how you can make your thank you cards at home and let's just get started so i know sorry i have a bunch of apps i don't even use but let's go on to fonto so we're gonna go to font soul and we're gonna hit the button the camera button and then we are going to plain images hit the first box or if you want white it's fine you can hit that box too and you can hit color to any color you like most of the people have their own um business theme and mine's is pink but we're just gonna go with white so you guys can see more of the process and then we're going to go all the way down and you're going to hit iPhone 8 Plus or you can hit iPhone XR. We're going to hit iPhone, iPhone 6S for my preferences. If um, you like something else, then that's up to you. We click anywhere you want. You click and then add text. Once we add that, you're just going to type anything. So I'm just going to write thank you. I'm going to write thank you as in like I'm doing a thank you card and you can change the font if you want. So I'm going to go all the way up and I'm going to hit Alex Bush. I think that's what it says. And it says thank you. And then you can write anything you want. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Instagram. Illy Cosmetics. Wait, let me go ahead and add at Illy's cosmetics and most of the time you would want your logo to be on the bottom right so we're gonna go ahead and go to safari you are going to put in instagram transparent logo once we have done that you're gonna go and look for the one when the picture pops up for example not this one the background is not the same color as the one i want this one when you see that the um the instagram logo like pops up that means it's transparent we're gonna go back to the app and you're going to hit here like add image and hit this one when you see that the background is black that means it's transparent when it's white is not transparent and we do not want to get the white one because most of the time it's not the same color as the um the background that you have so let's say if you have a pink background you can't use the um, instagram logo because it will be white so this is how it looks like and you can go ahead and click the sizes or whatever you want and there you go you have your own thank you card and this is all i'm gonna do i'm not gonna work hard on this thank you card you can do whatever you want google does help a lot stars transparent and these pop up so none of these are transparent i'm gonna look for ones that are transparent so i found some gold um transparent stars um i will go for like a pink or black color and, and as you can see it will go oh i'll take it off as you can see it will go right under the like the logo or name or whatever so i like that and i'm just gonna give you like a little bit of ideas of what you can do So this is my thank you card and I'm so mad because I've been using these thank you cards and I haven't put in my YouTube on it and honestly I don't I feel like and honestly I'm too lazy to redo this because the stars were so hard to find so um this is my thank you card and it's not something big but I, but I honestly like it and it looks so cute with the orders it combines with everything so I just show you mine and basically I'm just giving you 
and idea. We're gonna go ahead and save that image. And let's say that this is your logo, like this is literally your logo. One thing I forgot to say is that you can go ahead and hit style and change the colors, whatever you like. So now that, that we have that image saved, we're gonna go ahead and go to Google Docs. You want it to look exactly like this. The reason why is because you are going to print them out like this. So we're gonna go ahead and go to a new document. I'm gonna put thank you card tutorial and hit the plus sign and then we're gonna hit image from photos and there you go so we're gonna copy we're gonna copy and then we're gonna try to paste there you go so we're pasting for some reason this is not like a white background for some reason so make sure you have the white background i think this is like a light white background because as you can tell mine is white completely white because you can't see nothing so make sure you have the um exact white one because then you don't want a gray background hit the image and then you want to hit this one that's next to the photos thing like as you can see right here i hit the camera and i mean the photos now we're gonna hit the one that's right next to it and this is how it's gonna look like and you want to hit fixed position you want to hit break text once you have break text you want to go ahead and click that again and then fixed position and now you can like move it see you can move it whatever you want so once you have that on fixed thing now you want to go ahead and make it smaller and then repeat and repeat and for some reason i can't move it up why can't i move it up So make sure that they are not too small. The these are um, I did them small on purpose so you guys can know how big you want you should have them. So you should have them at least this big and make sure that it's fitting in the paper. This is the paper. So imagine this being an actual paper and making sure that it's fitting right. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put that there. And then you want to shrink to make sure that it's it's right where you want it and this is perfect this is exactly what you want because it's gonna fit on the paper and this is how i have it on the other one which is um my business card so now we're gonna hit copy and then we're gonna hit paste here and it's gonna appear um exactly the same size as the one is on top and then you just want to make sure you are oh my god i moved this you just want to make sure you put in it right right where the other one so you want to hit copy and then you want to hit paste and then another one will be right on top of that one and then you want to keep on going until you reach all the way to the bottom of the paper so so far now i only have four business cards and that's what you should be doing so try to make them straight as possible mines are cricket but because this is just um an example of what you should be doing so paste and there you go and you when you go like this you want to make sure none of them are out are going out of the paper or else it will print out it will print out wrong because it will be printed out out of the paper so make sure you are you guys are doing this right so so if you want to print off from your phone then you can go ahead and hit the three dots and it will say print and there you go you can go ahead and print out so I'm going to show you guys how mines look like in a piece of paper and cut up. So let's get into that.
So for this, I didn't use thick paper because I don't have any more. So if you want to make thank you cards, make sure you have a thick paper so it looks like thank you cards or cards at all in general. So yeah, you can also get them from Avery, but I only used regular paper because that's what I had. But anyways... So these are my thank you cards all cut up and you can go ahead and cut yours as well or you can use the thank you cards from avery.com but and for this video this might not help you but you can use the avery.com cards because those are thick papers and so um this is the measurements as you can see it's not that small it's perfectly you can see everything perfectly so I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. Um, before I end this video, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. As you can see, it's already on the business cards. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you on my next one. Stay tuned for more videos.